harvest log, day 17, bank holiday Monday, the 26th of August. And uh, we're in a field of spring wheat now, a field called uh, Collins's Piece. It's a variety called Maluka. And um, it's probably the best bit of spring barley we've cut today. Probably going to be around seven and a half tonnes a hectare, three tonne an acre. Some quite well bodied land and um, managed to withstand some of those 30, 30 degree temperatures that we had earlier on. So um, we cut some earlier on some lighter land which was for about the five to six tonne a hectare mark so that wasn't very inspiring at all to be honest. Uh, but probably not unexpected considering oh, considering the, the, uh, the hot weather that we had. Yeah, just going to unload again. There you go. Now we're leaving quite a quite a high stubble here. If I just stick the fork in the ground there, it is oh, probably sort of 14 inches probably. Uh, the, the idea is that this is due to be planted with oilseed rape. So rather than deal with lots and lots of trash immediately on the soil surface um, we'll, uh, we've just got the minimum amount on there so we'll direct drill this with the sprinter drill probably tomorrow um, and uh, I've just been having a little look at the soil structure that's come up in rather a big lump there but it's not too bad actually look at all these these roots that you can see down here Oh, it's slightly out of focus. Um, all the little worm holes, roots going down quite nicely, breaking up fantastically well. It is surprisingly wet uh, for this time of year, so there is plenty of moisture underneath, which again, look at that lovely, lovely worm hole just in there. Look, that's going to be doing an awful lot of drainage. Uh, later on if we don't disturb these little fellas too much so um, that's the plan direct drill this one straight in tomorrow um, I think it's a variety called Harper but I'm not sure and uh, yeah harvest 14 will soon be upon us no doubt anyway we've got uh, we should wrap the wheat up in the veil today uh, depending on how late we can go we've got to go and harvest some bits near some pheasant release pens so um, if they get tucked up into bed in the corn then we're going to struggle but um, fingers crossed we'll be able to press on. <laughs> 